Hi, I'm Paul Brown from EV Powered. I'm here at CES 2024. Let me show you what's on offer this year. First up at CES 2024 is Volkswagen, showcasing their GTI concept and their flagship ID7. Volkswagen announced that they are to install the AI-based ChatGPT service in its cars from this spring, providing accurate and relevant responses to nearly every query imaginable. The chatbot will come as standard in all Volkswagen models equipped with the IDA voice assistant from the second quarter of 2024. This includes all electric vehicles, the ID3, ID4, ID5, and flagship ID7. Once this exciting new innovative tech is released, we at EV Powered will be sure to bring you our first look and opinions. Next is a feeler. The electric car brand born from a partnership between electronics brand Sony and car manufacturer Honda. A feeler has unveiled the latest evolution of its all electric saloon prototype. It's currently a nameless prototype, but it takes heavy inspiration from Sony's previous concept cars. Next to no performance specs of the prototype are made public, apart from its dimensions, where it's just a smidge longer and wider than an Ionic 6, with double wishbone front multi-link rear suspension. The prototype is all-wheel drive too, implying the use of at least two e-motors underneath the skin. Honda presented their world premiere of the Honda Zero series, represented by two new global EV concept models at CES 2024. At the show, Honda showcased their saloon and space hub models as part of the Zero series release. The Honda Zero series is a new EV series that symbolizes how Honda is undergoing a major transformation in line with its global brand slogan and electrification policy. The series name represents Honda's determination in taking on this challenge of developing new EV series by going back to the starting point of Honda as an automaker and creating completely new EVs from zero. Hear what Honda's head of communications, Marcos Frommer, had to say. We're Honda and here at CES 2024, we're showing the new Honda Zero EV series. Right behind me is a concept vehicle called Saloon. This soon will uh, go into production and the production version will be based closely on the concept you see today. It has a low stance, it has a spacious interior, and we believe this will be able to connect the driver and the vehicle in a powerful way um, that will create a new future for mobility. There was also a number of super fast electric chargers on display at the show, with the HAV EV charger winning the Innovation Award. This charging station includes a similar technology to number plate recognition, which is aimed to mitigate non-EV owners parking in charging spots and to reduce EVs being left unattended after charging is completed. Flying cars are all the rage at CES, and this China-based company, Xpeng Air OT, was showing a full-scale model of a supercar lookalike that converts to a flying car. The modular flying car, which has undergone initial flight tests, should be ready for delivery toward the end of 2025, with initial sales limited to China. The air module achieves vertical takeoff and landing, meeting low altitude flight needs. Regarding its supercar flying car, Aeroat co-founder Tan Wang was a bit more cryptic, declining to give specs on speed and range, just saying it was a product designed for the future, but will have an electric power system. Now forget flying cars and super fast chargers. It is the production ready all electric G-Class, AKA EQG, that turned heads at CES 2024. These camouflaged prototypes show a few changes over the concept, which bring it even closer to the current G-Wagon. It's likely the new electric off-roader will come with similar 200 kW charging technology as the Mercedes EQS, allowing you to boost its range by around 190 miles in as little as 15 minutes. In a Las Vegas Strip showcase, Mercedes-Benz unleashed the EQG's party trick, a 360-degree tank turn dubbed the G-Turn. This impressive maneuver is possible by four independent electric motors at each wheel, allowing the EQG to rotate effortlessly on its own axis. There's no word on pricing just yet, but you can expect to have to pay handsomely for the EQG. A starting price of over $100,000 is to be expected. 
Kia was also at the show this year, officially launching its global PBV business at CES 2024. The Korean car manufacturer outlined three phases as part of its Platform Beyond Vehicle PBV, strategy. Central to this strategy are interchangeable life modules, allowing a single vehicle to serve multiple roles, from a taxi to a delivery van or a personal recreational vehicle, by swapping out these modules as needed. Kia says Phase 1 starts with the Concept PV5, the first in the series. That is CS 2024 finished. Please make sure you like, subscribe and leave a comment below.